COVID uh, hit us, I was amazed how fast the first vaccine was actually uh, in the market. And do you agree? Was it fast or do you think that was not fast enough? Who agrees that it was a fast development of the vaccine? Yeah, thank you. It was, it's not over, if you look at the development of that vaccine, data collaboration played a big part. And uh, it's not always the case that data collaboration is so easy. I'm Rodi Godenberg. I'm CEO and uh, co-founder of Roseman Labs. And we enable organizations to collaborate on sensitive data. And that is not always easy. According to McKinsey, roughly $3 trillion of value is left on the table every year since collaboration on sensitive data is difficult. And it's difficult since um, there is legal complexity involved. It's technically very co uh, complex. And therefore, it's costly. It's time consuming to set up a data collaboration. At Roseman Labs, we've developed um, a software solution that enables organizations to collaborate on sensitive data without actually sharing their source data with each other. So what you basically do is you keep your data at the source, and we run computations on encrypted data over the internet between, the so between those sources. And that enables you to set up a data co collaboration much faster, much more cost efficient, and privacy by design. And the great thing is actually that any data scientist can do this. You can do this from behind your laptop. And we use a cryptographic technique. This morning we heard uh, Rin talking about uh, Zama. We use a different cryptographic technique called multi-party computation. And whereas if you traditionally work on on uh, collaboration, on, on, on sensitive data. You would basically take, as different partners, you would send your data to a central data source, and there you run your computations. Using multi-party computations, we encrypt the data at the source, and then we chop it in multiple puzzle pieces. And those puzzle pieces, you can mathematically prove that they don't um, give away anything about the source data anymore. So we can distribute them in a network of computers, and none of the computers knows anything about the data. But over the internet, we can still run analysis. We can still run computations. So how does that work in practice? Typically, let's take three hospitals. Typically, those three hospitals would send their sensitive patient data to a central party. The central party is processing those, uh, those data, for instance, to uh, determine who has the most effective treatment for a certain type of cancer. If you use the virtual data lake, all the data owners remain in control of, of their data. Data remains at the source and we run the computation across the various hospitals without exposing their source data. And as what uh, um, Typically, what you, what you can imagine is that if you run computations over the internet, that suddenly network communication between all those servers is a huge bottleneck in, uh, in running your computations. And what we have been able to do is to reduce this bottleneck tremendously. And we have speed up the, communi the, the communicational overhead. We've reduced that tremendously. And that is a nice, that was very important because up till today, the technology was not fast enough to use it in practice, to, to solve practical use cases. You were only able to do small data sets on simple models. Now we can run computations on millions of records. We can do machine learning and AI. So the great benefit of this multi-party computation, if you look at GDPR, privacy um, regulations, is that it's both combining a very uh, strong uh, security measure yeah, running computations on encrypted data with um, purpose binding, segregation of duties, abstract principles from GDPR that are very difficult to meet with traditional technologies, but are inherent in using this technology. And that allows you to, to run very sensitive use cases. And that's what we actually do today. Our technology is already used in practice. Um, we use it at the Dutch Ministry of Justice. They build a cyber a security, a, a cyber collaboration platform to collaborate on sensitive uh, alert information. We use it for law enforcement agencies to uncover uh, criminal networks in, um, in human trafficking. 
And we use it in various healthcare use cases, uh, of course. We're super proud of our team. It's a, uh, a very diverse team, uh, still very small, but um, uh, we're very proud to have seven PhD level cryptographers combined with people that really know how to bring this technology to the market. So if you're interested to, uh, to get to know us further, please uh, reach out to me. That is Roseman Labs, that is Privacy by Design. Thank you.